Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Fall is here and it's time for a lot of people to light the pilot on their gas fireplace. And today, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, I could just give you the super blowhardy answer and say, follow your manufacturer's instructions. For every gas fireplace I think that I've ever looked at, if you open up the door, you take the front panel cover off, and you look underneath, there's a little space underneath your gas fireplace firebox area, and there's always instructions from the manufacturer on how to light your pilot. Now, that really is the best way to do it. I mean, you should follow your manufacturer's instructions to a T. You should follow them exactly, and that's the safest and most proper and best way to light your pilot. But that's super boring. Well, why don't I show you how to do it too? And I'm gonna talk through some of the precautions that you need to put in place when you're lighting your pilot because there is a small element of danger here, very small, but there was one time doing a home inspection where uh, another inspector and I were lighting the pilot on a water heater and it had there was something defective with it and we had this big, ball of flame shoot out and one of my inspectors kind of singed, singed his eyebrows. So it, it can be a little bit dangerous, but that's the only time I've ever had a problem with it. That was a decade ago. So this process that I'm going to show you to light a pilot is going to be the same for just about any gas appliance that has a standing pilot. And that could be things like space heaters, wall furnaces, water heaters, uh, really, really old furnaces or boilers, a whole bunch of appliances have standing pilots. Excuse me, had a frog in my throat. So the process is the same for just about all of these appliances. It might be just slightly different here and there, but once you understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, I think it's a lot easier to remember the process for lighting a pilot light. So let's go through the steps together. Number one, locate the shutoff valve for your appliance and make sure that it's turned on. If the gas valve for your appliance is turned off, you're gonna to need to turn it on before you can light the pilot. Now, for most appliances, you're gonna have a gas valve in the same room and within six feet of the appliance. But for gas fireplaces, there is an exception in the code that says you don't need to have the valve located in the same room. It might be located somewhere else. Now, on my house, I have a shutoff valve down in the basement and I have another valve located inside the fireplace area. So I'll make sure that both of those valves are on. That's step number one. Step number two, pause to sniff for gas. Once you've turned the gas on, you wanna make sure that you don't have any gas leaks. Use your sniffer, go up to the appliance, <laughs> take a little sniff, make sure that you're not leaking any gas. If you are, turn the gas back off. If you're not, go ahead and proceed to step number three locate the pilot. Now, the pilot is going to be this little protrusion. It's going to be this tiny little thing. Pilot, pilots all have different little shapes. I'm going to show you the pilot on my gas fireplace. It's kind of hard to locate. You really, you got to get up at the right angle and you got to look down inside of the fireplace. And once you see it, you may not know you're looking at it if you don't know how to recognize a pilot. But it's, it's gonna be one little thing sticking out, that's the pilot, and then there's another little thing sticking out, this little post, which is the thermocouple, or the flame-proving device. Now, I wanna take a second here and just kind of explain what that thermocouple does. You've got a pilot, and the pilot's heat is gonna warm up that thermocouple, and once the, once the thermocouple stays really warm, it's gonna allow gas to flow to the pilot without you forcing gas to the pilot. It's gonna allow the pilot to remain lit. It's a safety device. And if the pilot goes off, the thermocouple is gonna get cold and then it's gonna shut off the flow of gas. So it's gonna prevent your firebox from just filling up with gas that doesn't get burned, creating a potentially hazardous situation. That's why appliances always have these thermocouples right next to the pilot. So, long explanation, you're looking for a little nub for the pilot, a little thing, that's a thermocouple. Let's take a look inside my gas fireplace. If we look back in here, you know, I, I gotta get at the right angle. We gotta kinda zoom in. I'm trying to do this with my video camera here. You can, you can see it. I'm putting a light on here, and there it is. That is 
my pilot. For some gas fireplaces, it can be really difficult to figure out where it is. What may be helpful is to look underneath and look for a very thin gas line and another, another wire coming up that connects to your thermocouple. Look for those two things and wherever they come up, you're going to look in that general area for your pilot. And then one other tip, if, it, if it's really dark, you can't quite see what you're looking at, you're not sure what you're looking at, on just about every gas fireplace, you're going to have a little igniter button. You push this button in, it's going to click and it's going to create a little blue spark. You'll see that spark right at the pilot. So let's, let's take a closer look at what mine looks like. I'll see if I can zoom in my camera here and you can actually see it as I'm clicking it. See that little blue spark? Yeah, that, that confirms for me that's where my pilot is. Okay, really long explanation for step number three, but really the only takeaway here is figure out where your pilot is and keep an eye on it. You need to watch your pilot while you're doing the rest of these steps. Okay, let's move on. We got step number four, which is to force gas to your pilot. And we are, we are now bypassing the safety feature of the thermocouple. We're forcing gas to that pilot. And to do that, you locate your control knob. It, it should probably be in the off position. If it's not, you need to turn it to the off position and you need to leave it off for five full minutes. And well, even if it was in the off position, leave it off for five full minutes. And this is gonna allow any residual gas to clear out make sure that you don't have a safety issue. And then after five minutes, sniff around one more time and make sure that you don't smell gas. If you do, this is a hard stop. You need to call someone in to fix your gas leak. Once you've done that step, it's time to turn it to the pilot position. And there's gonna be a little indicator on here showing you which position it's in. I can't quite get my camera there right, so here's a still shot of it. It's this little red arrow. That tells you what position we're in. And so I'm gonna take take my pilot and I'm going to switch it over to the pilot position and now I'm ready to light my pilot. And we do that by taking your thumb on here and you push it down and you should be able to push it in if it's in the correct position. And now you're forcing gas to the pilot. And you're going to do that for a little while. You, you, you know, the manufacturers say try lighting it immediately. I found just let it go for a few seconds and then while you're watching it and while you still have your thumb on that button, take your other hand and then start pushing the igniter button and keep pushing the igniter until the pilot ignites. Once it does ignite, don't take your thumb off that, off that uh, pilot control button. You need to keep your thumb there, hold it down. You're gonna keep forcing gas to that pilot and let it get nice and warm. Let it warm up the thermocouple. And you know, I found, if you've, if you've got a newer appliance, you might have to do this for about 10 seconds and then you let go and the flame will stay on. Sometimes you get older appliances, those thermocouples are, I don't know, they're all corroded. It, it might take up to a minute of you holding your thumb there to really warm it up before you can let go and the flame stays on. But that's, that's the ultimate goal is that you let go with your thumb, the flame stays on. If you let go and the flame shuts back off, go back again repeat the process, try it again, and if that doesn't work, try it yet again. But if you keep trying this over and over again and it will not stay lit, you may have a problem, you know, maybe it's a bad thermocouple, and at this point, you need to get it serviced. Oh, and also one other tip, if you, if you take your thumb off of there and the button doesn't pop back out, you got a problem, you need to get it serviced. But assuming you've done all these steps, you take your thumb off, the, the pilot stays lit. The next step is to go to that little knob and turn it to the on position and be good to go. At that point, you should be able to turn on your appliance. You can, if it's a gas fireplace, you're probably gonna have a switch on the wall. There's almost always a bypass switch right by the fireplace. I always like to just test it right there while I'm, while I'm down there and I got the door or access panel open and I'll just flip it to on about a second later Push, flames kick on, your fireplace is working, and you're good to go. So that is the process for lighting a pilot light. I hope I didn't omit any important safety steps from this video. Pretty sure I covered them all. 
And one other point, I, I, I get this question periodically is, should you leave your pilot on for a gas fireplace throughout the summer? I mean, you're not using it, why bother wasting all of that gas? Well, I've always left mine on, and my advice is to leave yours on. It's gonna help prevent spiders and insects and other stuff from getting in there and making webs and clogging stuff up and, and making it so you got problems when you're gonna light it again in the fall. So I just leave mine on. It's a very small amount of gas that's going into that pilot, but if you prefer to shut yours off, that's okay too. There, there's no real hard and fast rule about this. There, I, I wouldn't say there's any right or wrong. Okay, that's it. That is how you light the pilot on your gas fireplace or really just about any other gas appliance. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.